December 2nd, Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Here at the USGS, looking over the seismographs, this is one of my many pit stops I make daily. I'm usually here multiple times a day, have been for over 10 years. This and the National Data Buoy Center. If you're truly and sincerely interested in the mechanics of Earth, the energy flow in and around our planet, these are two places that you will frequent all the time. You may not always understand what you're looking at, but you can look for trends. You can look for patterns. I don't really use these for earthquakes, just so you know. I look for anomalies. I'm looking for waves of energy that aren't associated with earthquakes. I know what these things are going to do when an earthquake happens. I want to know what's happening when I see energy on here when earthquakes aren't happening. That's why I come here. Like you're looking at this one here in Kabul, Afghanistan. That's more than likely a man-made ordinance that created that energy wave on the seismograph. But we've learned something today. Not only have we been, and if you've been following my YouTube channel for even a few months or a few years, you know that we've traced many anomalies on these seismographs over the years. This is one that we've been following. I have. I haven't been really reporting on it too much. I've pointed it out a couple of times. But New York is a very unusual place for seismic activity. This is not seismic activity. I don't know what it is. That's why I referred to earlier. This is a wealth of information if you know what you're looking at. Well, check this out. Some professors from Rutgers University are doing the same thing. I guess have been doing the same thing. They understand that reading these seismic waves, seismic energy on seismographs can be a wealth of information, especially if you're seeing things that are not related to earthquakes. That is indicative of another form of energy. They have found another form of energy. What is happening is warm, just as it says here, a mass of warm rock is rising beneath New England, a Rutgers University suggests. First of its kind, seismic study challenges textbook concepts of geology. I think it's a great uh, challenge. And I think they're on the right path. This is a wealth of information. We've tracked waves going across the United States. In fact, I had a viewer today. This message is from today, just a few hours ago. They wish to remain anonymous, and that's fine. I'm going to respect that. But this is what they sent me. And I get this quite often. Um, please keep me anon. But you might want to look for that pulse across the U.S. again. And that pulse she's talking about is on the seismographs. The dog and I experienced a really strange low vibration today. And I didn't see anything that um, pointed to a frequency that traveled across the United States. We have tracked them before. And you can see one will be in, let's just say, for instance, New York at, at, at 10, 10 minutes past the hour. And then at 12 minutes past the hour, it'll be in Ohio. And 14 minutes, it'll be in Nebraska and 17 minutes will be in California, and it's in the same hour block. So you've traced a energy wave across the country that was not an earthquake. And you can get a wealth of information from these buoys as well. And you're like, wow, those are only for tsunamis. Oh, no, they're not. These things are attached to the seafloor of Earth, much like seismographs are in the ground. So they're monitoring energy in the ground. That's not necessarily a tsunami, not necessarily an earthquake. And that's what these men have found here. It's a professor from uh, Rutgers University. What they found is an upheaval of warm rock. And it is coming up right in this area right here. So that could explain the anomalous readings we're seeing in New York. Because I don't have any seismographs in, in New Hampshire or uh, New England closest one is New York so maybe that is what we're seeing here um, yeah basically there's an upheaval of warm rock coming up through the crust of earth they're saying that it's going to take millions of years but they just learned about this phenomenon here recently so it may not take millions of years you know if you just learned about it Maybe it could be happening quicker. I don't know. But 
Levin is the professor. He thinks the upwelling pattern detecting is largely detected is largely beneath central Vermont, western New Hampshire, but it is also under western Massachusetts. It may represent or it may be present elsewhere, but the study findings were based on available seismic observations. Um, we're interested in what happens in the interface between tectonic plates, thick solid parts that cover our planet, and the material in the upper mantle beneath the plates, Levin said. We want to see how North America is gliding over the deeper parts of our planet. It is a very large and relatively stable region, but we found an irregular pattern with rather abrupt changes. And here is a um, high-resolution image of, or this is an artist rendition of what they're finding, an upwelling coming up to the surface from inside the Earth. So that could be the culprit to what's making these anomalies on these seismographs that we're seeing around the, the United States. And it's not just limited to the Northeast. We see this all across the country randomly. It's very unpredictable. So it could be something like, he said it's not a volcano, which there are no volcanoes there, but it's behaving like one. Energy is coming up from inside the earth under New England, uh, Massachusetts, and Vermont. And they learned this from seismographs. Isn't that interesting? I'm very impressed and very great article. I'll post the link in the description box if you're interested. Um, it's a very interesting read. Good job, guys. Thanks for watching, folks, and as always, be safe out there.